I think it's challenging to do a traditional mural project in a school without walls. So this mural project is not quite traditional. Um, we chose to reuse large um, black and white photographs that were displayed last year and paint on the backs of them. So we could have what would look like a mural, but would actually be portable so that the actual surface would be flexible as our structures on campus are flexible and move. Here at Green School, we teach students to look at everything from multiple perspectives, whether it's a challenge that they're trying to find a solution for or engaging in friendships. Um, it's always about taking others' perspectives and knowing your own perspective and being open to the possibilities in between. The theme of our mural is empathy. Having empathy if, if somebody is sad, it might make you sad too. I like murals because they're pretty and they're helping hands. If someone like sad, you feel it, but you don't like act it, you help them and it's called Helping Hands. There's a tree that has, that has a people. There's other trees that have people. This mural project um, incorporates the whole community. So early years, primary, middle school, and high school all have a role in creating the panels, as well as the parents, um, Kakache, the teachers, and the rice cycle project, and the local farmers. So to kind of bring all of that together into one unified vision, it made sense to think about all of the different people who make up our community and the multiple perspectives we all have on um, green school education and our mission to bring sustainability to the planet, to enrich our lives through art. That's the story of green school, it's the story of our community, and it's the story of the, the wishes and intentions that the students have put into where they're they're hoping we move as, um, as a society and as a world. Um, and we do this project because we want to make sure everyone feels unique in their own way. Because no one has the same thing up there. Yeah, it will be, I think it will be really incredible to see it all together um, and to appreciate the scale of each individual artwork as well and putting it together as a whole and kind of seeing that narrative play out visually. Not only is our all-school mural project complete, but it is the largest collaboration and art installation in Green School history. I would like to extend a huge kindness and appreciation and gratitude to Pat Kadek, who has done a tremendous amount of work and energy on this project. We truly could not have done it without you, so thank you. I helped with the parent panel, which I think is um, fantastic. We wanted to do structure and how we all came together and equality. So I think, and how strong bamboo is and how it keeps the whole school up. So I think we did a wonderful, colorful job and we got lots of parents involved, so it was fantastic. These are totally blowing me away. I think they are so totally awesome. The colors are incredible. And I'm glad that we can see every point of view from all different grades and that everyone got together and did this together I think it's incredible. I have to be completely honest I feel so proud and then I feel grateful proud because I just read what my daughter wrote about empathy and what the other children wrote and the way they're understanding through these words trust sustainability quality how they're actually understanding what it means you know it's just not words I mean, they're work of arts and they also make them look inside themselves and then interpret these things. So it goes a step further for just, you know, learning by heart what we stand for at Green School. I guess for me, what's interesting is when you think about it, this, this project started because the foundation of the Sankep was weak and they had to tear the thing down and rebuild it. And from the, from the ashes of one structure comes a spontaneous collection of artworks. That's, that's very much in line, I think, with the sustainable vision of the Green School.